Greetings on this second Sunday in Easter, the Sunday after Easter. I wanted to take a few minutes to share with you the day's reading from the Gospel, some prayers, and a little reflection. So I hope that those of you who were unable to attend services or have not had a chance to attend the service uh, on today do have a chance to reflect and spend some time in prayer. So let us open with the prayer for today. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And the passage appointed for today is a passage from the 20th chapter of the Gospel according to John beginning at the 19th verse. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus again said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hand and put my finger in the mark of the nails in my hand and his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life his name. Here is the reading. I think for me this passage speaks to me in this time with the assurance that no matter what our need, no matter what our condition, no matter what our anxieties, no matter what our worries, no matter what our hopes, our joy, that Jesus is present, that there is nothing that can keep him from entering into our lives, and the reminder that the lengths to which Jesus will go to be present with us, to love us, to redeem us, those lengths are unimaginable. We see that in the cross and resurrection and the season of Easter that we celebrate. We see this in his coming to Thomas, to help Thomas rekindle, reignite, fan the flames of that faith that burns deeply in Thomas. So for me, I will reflect this week on what it means to be sought after by Jesus, to be loved beyond imagined by Jesus, and to know that no matter where I am in my life, Jesus is actively seeking to be present. And to assure us of the hope that all shall indeed be well. And now let us offer our prayers, our concerns, our thanksgivings, our joys to God by offering the words that Jesus himself taught us. Pray. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And let us pray. O God, our King, by the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, on the first day of the week, you conquered sin, put death to flight, and gave us the hope of everlasting life. Redeem our days by this victory. Forgive our sins. Banish our fears. Make us bold to praise you and to do your will. And steal us to wait for the consummation of your kingdom on the last great day. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now be well, stay well, be generous and kind with yourself and with one another.